So the premiere for The Bad Batch has arrived and in it we get a shocking and ominous moment where Captain Wilco, a clone serving under Admiral Rampart, refuses to follow his orders. This results in something very, very dark happening. So why was Wilco able to refuse this order after having Order 66 activated and transmitted to his inhibitor chip? Well hit that subscribe button and let's break it down. So in the episode, this brand new clone trooper named Wilco submits his report about the situation at Count Dooku's castle. Obviously his men were supposed to be facilitating the extraction of Count Dooku's wealth that was left at his castle after his death. In case you don't know, Dooku was literally one of the richest men in the galaxy and I'll have a video on that coming very soon so remember to sub, but in the report, Wilco made one fatal error. He included the sighting of Clone Force 99, the members of the Bad Batch. Now the problem here is that the Empire by now believes that Rampart had managed to exterminate the Bad Batch in the events at the end of Season 1 with the destruction of Kamino. So obviously if Tarkin and the Empire found out that they were still alive, this would reflect horrifically on Admiral Rampart. This is where the shocking act of defiance comes in. Rampart asks his clone captain to falsify the report and remove any mention of the Bad Batch siding on Sereno. The clone pauses for a short moment before telling his superior that he cannot do that. Rampart then chillingly moves behind him and tells him that then he will have to do it before blasting the trooper over the side railing, plunging him to his death. But how and why did Wilco disobey a direct command? Well, the first option is that the inhibitor chips, which are directly strengthening clone obedience, are starting to wear off and weaken as we get further away from Order 66. This is very possible and might even be similar to what happened to Captain Hauser on Ryloth. I really hope we get to see more of him in the series. Another option is that Wilco's chip simply malfunctioned and had been out of operation for some time, allowing him to regain some level of free will. I mean, you can even see the struggle and hesitation after Rampart asks him to falsify the report. If the clones were droids, you could practically see the gears turning in Wilco's head, attempting to process the order and then hesitate to it. One final option is that Palpatine is purposefully weakening all of the currently installed inhibitor chips so that the strict obedience is given only to him. We know from many sources that Palpatine had a very strong fear of someone else in the galaxy using the inhibitor chips to turn the clone army against him. Having this fear in his head would be a very strong motivator to alter them to only work when directly dealing with Palpatine himself. But let me know what you think below and there will be plenty more Star Wars lore videos as we move into The Mandalorian Season 3. Peace.